Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you all are having a fantastic day out there. I was up early again here today doing my homework, taking a look at what's going on in this market. I've condensed a couple of hours worth of research into five minutes. Stick with me till the end so we can get it out all to you. We're going to talk about what's happening with XRP, XLM digital assets, and this market. All we ever ask is if you like this type of content, drop an X, smash the like button, share the video. Let others know what is truly happening in this digital revolution as we see XRP having so much going for it right now. ETF approval is about here. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. XRP, LAMM, sidechains, TPS amendment we've got uk legislation we got smart car smart cards i'm not even gonna edit that out we've got smart contracts officially with stellar this is going to grow that network tremendously and this is something we've been waiting for a long time i can't wait until ripple gets theirs as well but these networks will be of the ones, the last ones standing. 99% of this market is going bye-bye. All the pump and dumps, all the frog and dog scam coins out there are going away. That liquidity will then get pulled into true digital assets, true blue chips. And folks out there talking about old cryptos, these are the ones that will be standing at the end because again, they've already established themselves. Now, along with that, what is happening in this market? We've got an advisor coming out, Samson Mao, saying Bitcoin ETFs will send BTC Bitcoin to 1 million plus in the matter of days or weeks. And I believe this 100%. We are starting to see a supply shock, uh, shock right now as some guy just yesterday bought 5,000 worth of BTC. That is 12, 212 million worth of Bitcoin just happened yesterday, right? And then obviously we started the day kind of low, kind of red, right? And then ended the day with a nice massive pump. Supply shock, guys. This has always been a supply and demand game. As you see liquidity come into this market, supply pulled out, the air in the room is going to get completely sucked out and only the true best digital assets will remain. We've got Ripple VP foreseeing 2024 as a huge surge in crypto adoption. I believe all the dominoes were set up in 2023. Now we are about to see everything fall as we see a tidal wave come into this market. We've got people out there saying right now there's a 98.7% chance or odds of ETF approval by the 7th to 10th of January as that is the date, right? Now I understand there's been delays in the past. I think this time it's happening and we'll see them all done at once. We'll see all that liquidity come in and in a very quick a quick response, right? Now understand trading will take about 75 days, but the speculation and just the idea that they've all been approved and the fact that they've been approved, that's going to bring a ton of volume, of course. And this is going to send this market ripping. We see Marathon Digital, America's biggest mining rig, just purchased or did an acquisition for 178.6 million to prepare for this having, right? Quick story, Marathon Digital. I actually, I was in the stock market far before I was into digital assets. I think many of you know that. I was in ticker symbol MARA, M-A-R-A, -A, which is this mining uh, company, the biggest in America, right? I bought in at 25 cents. All-time highs was like $75. I think it's sitting at like $25 right now. That was a big mistake when I sold at about a buck, right? Big mistake. Part of experience. I'm sure many of you have stories like this as well. I'm not going to make this mistake with XRP and XLM because once these digital assets start seeing this type of liquidity, it's bye-bye. And that's why we say, I hope you are prepared. Now, along with that, Wall Street eyeing XRP spot Bitcoin ETF. This is speculation, but there's articles out there going. We know ETPs are happening, exchange trade products. They're definitely happening in Europe. ETF is a matter of time, my personal opinion. You're not going to see any of these micro caps or here, here one day, gone the next type of cryptocurrencies doing ETFs, but you will see the likes of XRP. That's why it's so frustrating when people give up. 
and they lose in this game because they give up on old cryptos. These are the cryptos that have established themselves. These are the ones that have the partnerships. These are the ones with the on and off ramps to make this all happen. The financial digital revolution that we talk about every day. Now, MasterCard heating up with XRP. They want a huge part of CBDCs. Obviously, Ripple, Stellar slated perfectly to be a massive, take a massive amount of that market share in CBDCs globally. MasterCard wants in though. You will be able to use debit cards to use that decentralized part of the XRPL, which happens to be the native token XRP to buy and sell. What does this do to the price of XRP? This is called mass adoption. This is what sends XRP flying this among many other things. And so everything's absolutely beautiful. I have a comment or had a comment yesterday in a video from a subscriber talking about, man, I don't even smoke cigars, but when I do get rich and I buy the house, I buy a Rolex for every day of the month and I buy the cars and all this stuff, I'm going to start smoking cigars and chomping on these fat cigars just because I can. It's a tremendous amount of wealth. And people say, well, how much do I need? How much XRP? How much XLM? If this does what it's supposed to, I can't tell you what you should own or how much you should own. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. But if this does what we believe it's supposed to and revolutionize the financial game, you need very little. You don't need a whole lot, guys. The more, the merrier, of course. I've got a fat bag. I've been DCAing for years now. XRP, XLM, obviously, you know, are my two favorite digital assets. But honestly, if you see this as a triple or four-digit coin a token with XRP and XLM, how much do you think you need? Let me know in the comments section below. I don't believe you need a whole lot to get riches. That's all I got for you for now. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and we'll see you all in the next video.